Hokey dokey. In this problem, we are given a model equation, and they tell us that these variables are all strictly greater than zero, and the goal is to identify which of these statements are true. Before we jump into this, let's check out a little idea that they're assessing here. So imagine we have a value x represented by a over b, larger and larger and larger than x, larger and larger and larger than x, the overall value must decrease. And just the opposite, if b decreases, then the overall value will increase. So with that in mind, let's check out these options here, relating, um, you know, with respect to this equation that they give us, larger and larger and larger, then x, the overall value, must decrease. And just the opposite, if b decreases, then the overall value will increase. So with that in mind, let's check out these options here, relating, um, you know, with respect to this equation that they give us at the top. So they say, if z and c decrease, then they, um, you know, with respect to this equation that they give us at the top. So they say, if z and c decrease, then the behavior of p cannot be determined. Well, if z decreases, that's a good sign that p will also decrease, since z is in the numerator. However, if c also decreases, c is in the denominator, which means that p would actually increase if c decreases. So p has a direct relationship to z, but an inversely proportional relationship to c. And so it's hard to tell exactly how p will change because we don't know by how much c and z are decreasing. So the behavior of p cannot be determined should be a true statement because we can't tell. We just don't know by how much they are decreasing. So that should be a true statement. Let's move on to number two. So A, or I guess number one is true. Number two, if Z and B decrease, then the behavior of P cannot be determined. That's the same situation. So if the numerator decreases and the denominator also decreases, there's no telling how that'll change P unless we know exactly by how much they are decreasing. So that is also a true statement for the same reason. Number three, if C and B decrease, C is in the denominator, B is in the denominator. If they both decrease, then P increases. Is that true? Well, looking at this, if B decreases, then the overall value should increase. That is a true statement because both C and B are in the denominator, and the denominator uh, values, I guess, have an inversely proportional relationship to the overall value, in this case, P. So it looks like all of these are true. Let's break out the eraser and see that H is our answer. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this makes some sense. If you'd like to see another example worked out, check out the second example. I'll work out here soon.